All right, another reason What does that say, Lord? See him, me. My wife's name, see her, i.e., as in, for example. Is your name Chime, Lord? No, but that would be cool because then it's the him version of see her. We could go on and on, beloveds. But the point is, <laughs> my wife is a regular in the heavenly courts. <clears throat> and she was being sentenced. <laughs> we had no idea. I've, you've been summoned. And we say, okay, <clears throat> put the confirmation in front of you. Uh, it's been a year since you claimed to be separated from Jesus Christ, the Lord, God Almighty, himself, us. You need to make a choice. Are you going to remain separated? I don't know. I need to think. Okay. You had a year to think. You need to make your decision. She made her decision said, okay, then I have to judge you and sentence you. She's like, okay. <clears throat> we sentenced her to one year. <clears throat> you really did this, Lord? We are just. And my wife has no idea what heavenly romance is. I create a universe full of stars, put a big ring right in front of her. That's boring. Amazing things that just revolve around her name. I don't care. So, <clears throat> oftentimes my wife has identity um, related hardships that came into her life before she was sentenced. Once she got sentenced, that was a little more um, difficult for her. But... <laughs> We watched for a while and then we said, bring her back. <clears throat> Same question, better answer this time. She had her ring, she said, okay, I'm ready to be queen. I'm ready to be your wife again. All right. <clears throat> then she left again, You're like, bring her back. <clears throat> Probation. We're going to give you probation. Okay, we're going to see how you do here. So the entire year, I'm sitting there doing her time with her. Walking her through things. Experiencing what she's experiencing. True romance, we thought. And she would check in, which is good. When she had her uh, phone time, she email or something like that. You need anything? This is what I'm doing. So I'm like, all right, I'm probation type of things. And as a good husband, I've quite frequently advised her, whether strongly or... Um, then I took the uh, approach as her lawyer, <laughs> trying to intercede for her, clearly as scripture, because someday she's going to have to be teaching how the... Um, kingdom of heaven actually works and many of you you may come to the conclusion is he crazy you just have to realize you haven't experienced what i've experienced you haven't done what i've done so your frame of mind is going to be that doesn't make any sense this is not what i would do this is not a logical thing to do whereas when you are god's only begotten son That is not um, how God thinks. God doesn't think like you think. So I'm so used to it <clears throat> that it's um, natural for me. I don't, I don't think like most people because it doesn't make sense to think like people when you're God. 
step in their shoes and I've done that. I had the world in me and that was no offense to anyone, horrible. So now that I don't have that anymore, a lot of things I did and thought processes I had are no longer there, but it's um, evil. So it was a very confusing time for my wife. <clears throat> and then living out the whole Adam and Eve thing. And then putting so much evidence in front of her, she has to sit there that, that really, he did do that. And she was telling me, and then you used a televised court proceeding between a man and his wife to put me on trial. It was gonna happen anyway, and it made my point. So, <laughs> on that, uh, I did do that. Now the point is, babe, any other female spirit, Eve, had to have the peace that resulted from um, the cross to communicate with God. You were the first directly from my rib, my rib. And you also have to remember, I want us to be financially stable, comfortable, able to do what we want to do. And that will always be what God wants to do. And life is gonna be so much easier for you now because you've surrendered. And you have um, your college education that we'll utilize to making our ministry better. You have your musical background, God-given talent. Remember that sign we had? God gives us talent to give it back to God. You have all kinds of amazing things waiting for you. You have your Robinsons, your family, spiritual family waiting for you. You have an entire life that, so we welcome you back <laughs> to the kingdom of heaven and you're hereby released. I love you.